Hello friends. In last session, you all got to know what is the most demanding front-end technology. That was just the beginning. Why not get some more details around it? We'll start from the basics, and in every session by session, we'll try to become a pro. I will try to keep every session small and compact, which will help us to digest the thing while going. Happy learning. We're going to kickstart our React journey, and for this exciting journey, do you know what you need? Just few things. your willingness to learn and of course you need to subscribe and share my channel here is my channel i take share and join me in this exciting episode we'll go through each and everything let's start with the very first thing that is installation and setup now here are the three basic things that you need for setting up the environment i'll show you in details nodejs VS Code and browser. Yes, only these three things, and you are good to go. Here we are at the Node.js dot org page. From where we'll download Node.js. You can see here that it is mentioned here Node dot js is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. So, what is Chrome V8 JavaScript engine? V8 engine is responsible to execute your javascript so once you will have node js in your system your system can run javascript outside of the browser that means server side scripting so with this node js you can do server side scripting anyways now go ahead and download the latest version in your machine that is 18.6.0 so you can see here i am downloading the executable version of this installation package and then go with your installation discuss on this how we can go ahead with the editor so our editor for react js development should be visual studio code we'll use this visual studio code because it's very user friendly and there are some extension also available that will help us down the line uh, to make our code hassle free okay so go ahead with the installation now you can see here also we are first downloading the exe now go ahead with the installation by clicking on this exe go through the steps now go ahead and create your working folder under your working directory So you can see here I am creating like C work FB React and React Training. So my working folder will be like React Training, and now there will be some magic. Just wait and see. You can see here what I have done. I have just typed CMD on this address bar, and it will automatically take you to that project folder path inside your CMD dot exe command prompt. From where we can execute our commands the next magic you need to type code then space one dot and it will open up visual studio code for you now see here the icon i have highlighted it's marked as extensions so we have to go ahead and install some of the extensions which will help us to do our coding hassle free to start with we'll download two of the extensions so here you need to search for the first extension simple react if you type it the first item is showing under it simple react snippets so these 
extension will come up with some of the shortcuts with that shortcuts you can actually go ahead and create your or use your react commands very easily click on this install and it will get installed automatically and see here here some of the example what are the things you can achieve through this extension and these are the some shortcuts we'll show some things in details in our upcoming videos if you want to just import something just type imrd and import react dom from react dom these things will get implemented over there similarly for class component if you just type cc yeah so your react component that structure that framework it will get automatically written in your source code once this is done now time for us for the next extension and that will be prettier prettier is the formatter for visual studio code so you need to install these things so far we have not done anything on the react so time for us to go ahead and install the react components and create our first application so this is the reactjs.org page i mean the official website for the react here you can see under the docs tab there is a getting started section yes here is that uh, command npx create react app space my app here this my uh, hyphen app means that's your application name okay so now this is in our command prompt and here what we need to write the same thing npx create react app and i am just changing my application name what i what it could be react hyphen training okay yeah let's keep this like this way so now it started downloading so before going to create your applications now it's asking for your confirmation for downloading the react packages if you'll provide your consent as yes and press enter it's going to download everything see here here in the under this folder structure we can see that things are getting created packages are getting downloaded over here see here it will take some time and your package will be getting created as and when download will go ahead it's done now we'll launch our first react application so for that i am now in my working directory here let's type cmd and open up your visual studio code like port space dot it will take to you visual studio code under this folder now in the left hand side you can see that your project folder directory all are listed over there click on this terminal new terminal first things you need to do to launch your development server just type npm start it will do the things for you see here localhost and then 3000 under this one under this uh, address your first react app got launched these screens validates the things that our installation is perfect so see something if we we'll make any changes in our code how it is getting reflected here okay go to your code base click on this src 
I'll discuss in details in later video or sessions about this folder structure. For now, just see that how these changes are getting reflected in our uh, portal. Click on this app.js. I am making a change inside it. See editor, SRCF.js, whatever that I am now changing with welcome to our React class. Great. See here the change is getting reflected 